Hello, it's Andy Graham of Hobo Traveler. I'm in uh, Montiano, uh, Dominican Republic. It's a city close to uh, Sosu in between Puerto Plata and the north coast. I'm in the park. Um, maybe I can show you this uh, park. It's kind of a nice park. I'm having a lot of problems with my camera. I think the uh, stabilizer and all this stuff is broken. But they have this really nice park. Actually, they have about seven parks in this little city. I've never seen so many parks. For it. I'm, I, I made a video yesterday of it. Try to put this back in the place where it was. Here I stopped and bought a uh, coconut for five pesos, maybe I don't know, ten cents US. I bought a coconut cookie, but strangely, it didn't really taste like coconut. It tastes like something else. Um, today's Sunday, and uh, I was real happy to find out they they cooked a they cooked a. Like a, they roasted a pig yesterday, all day long, and uh, they seem to be selling it at different places. I was hoping they, they're going to sell it in one place. They may have distributed it all the way around the, the village. They also have a little pizza place here that uh, up the street called Mokorati or something like that. It sells a pizza for uh, about uh, it's 130, a pet brownie pizza for 130 pesos. That's about uh, $4, which is not cheap. The cheese is the cheese on pizza worldwide is a problem. So generally, I mean, if you wanted to start a pizza place anywhere on the planet, you could if you could get the good cheese from like America to uh, to the place. So if I had a pizza place here, I would import the cheese and then all the other stuff they can pretty much buy here. Um, I'm trying to come up with a couple. Uh, uh, shouldn't eat my cookie while I'm. I have a, if you want to take photos quickly, what you want to do is, I'll give you a hint, you want to have a bag where you don't have to open it up to do it. I mean, a camera bag that has to be open is going to completely slow you down on taking photos. So what I did is I converted this bag into a photo bag. I took my photo bag and put it in here and had it sewn into this backpack, and then I can open it up really quickly. If you have to take a cover off the lens, uh, like right now, if I would have had to take the, le the the time it takes to take that lens cover off, it's going to stop your photos. But uh, generally, what I do is I roam from place to place. I carry my backpack with me all the time. I'm going to start trying to do this in a lot of different places. I think the, the main problem I'm going to have on doing these video blogs is noise, which is... And the fact that I wake up in the morning and I really want to do most of my, uh, anything I want to plan, I want to do it during, uh, during the time when I'm actually uh, thinking about that way, in that way. After about uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, I sort of think about a lot of different things. I don't actually uh, do all these planning type things. But I'm in a park right now, and if you can hear right now, it's still quite noisy. There's a lot of motorcycle... Uh, motorcycles here and uh, of course you have these cars that are kind of like a, they're kind of big on the inner city uh, maybe you think like Florida where the guys are driving around with the cars with the music going uh, maybe it's uh, half Mexican half uh, Afro-American type neighborhood that's kind of the environment here um, Noise pollution on the planet is just ever increasing. I don't know what to say about it. Uh, they don't seem to be care. I think I think actually the people like the feeling of the vibration of the music, of the noise. I don't think they actually are annoyed by the noise. I actually think they're invigorated by the noise. Uh, I used to. I'm actually 
irritated and stressed by that. So, so one of the problems going to be is trying to find quiet places. Um, I have a tripod that's made out of plastic that I can set up. I'm going to go try to go down by the river. Uh, my webcam's looking really good. Pretty soon we'll be uh, having live webcams from different places. I'm trying to get these. Uh, it's kind of expensive. It's going to cost me probably, I, I think, about five to ten dollars an hour to do this. So I, I really need to get get it uh, promoted. I think the way we'll do that is we'll have people be able to subscribe to it, and then the minute I start the webcam running, I will send out a notification to everybody. Well, hey, look, some uh, there's like a, a little girl doll hanging out of the window. You never know what's going to happen. I, I I do hope soon to be able to, I'm thinking I can put this webcam right in this bag and actually walk around with it for an hour and show you a an actual real life what I'm looking at situation. Now, hopefully we'll figure out a way so that you can communicate with me while I'm doing this also. But, Andy, Hobo Traveler in Montellano. I'm uh, just about uh, kind of a suburb of a suburb city of uh, Sosua. You can get on mysosua.com and find a lot of stuff about uh, this area. Thank you. Have a good day.